Today we are going to discuss the new update of Kali, Flame of Samsara. Three new episodes came out with this update, so if you're interested in watching my videos, I will link them down below in the description box. I highly recommend you watching them because I play with diamond choices and I also always put the timestamps in the description and in the comments as well. So since the tragic incident, five years has passed, so now we are in 90s. Which is interesting because we are at the same timeline as Chasing You 2. Maybe a crossover? Is it possible? <laughs> Apart from griefing, Devi focused on herself and on her studies and she is planning to become the head of the Sharma family. But she will be later challenged by her new uncle. This update was more focused on getting to know Christian a little bit. We know that he learned the language, which is, which is pretty impressive because he like didn't have to. I don't think there was one governor from England who learned their language. I think he's very dedicated and he enjoys staying in Calcutta and he likes being in India because in the first episode when we met him, he actually knew a lot about the culture and he also knew a lot about the religion as well. Which means that he's not trying to imply everything like British or trying to colonize them that aggressively. He's trying to be more patient and maybe trying to find a way to coexist with the Indian society. He's aiming for peace. Obviously, there could be other reasons for marrying Devi and choosing Devi as a potential bride. But for me personally, I'm playing on Christian's romantic route at the moment. And we got a lot of indication that he has feelings for Devi. So maybe it's not for political reasons only. And he gave us a tiger. Like how cool is that? You got a tiger. What's really interesting to me is that he said he doesn't have any friends here. But obviously he's a governor and have been for five years. So he's not like a soft little boy anymore. He is a cruel determined man. As the author said, you need to have an iron grip to be the governor. When Devi became an orphan, Kamal quickly became her guardian. I don't feel like their relationship should be very romantic at all, but this is just my personal opinion. I'm not interested in him, but if you like that, and if you don't care about the age gap, you can romance whoever you want. He also seems to be a little bit of toxic to me because he is very possessive of Devi, and I don't like his anger outbursts as well. It's just too much, like calm down. It seems like for me like an angry parent trying to scold off their child who misbehave. And I'm not really into that, so... Mm -mm. Kamal is a no for me. Ram, on the other hand... Come to play! Was a pleasant surprise. I thought that he's like this lazy but like cool, you know type of person but he's actually very determined and very passionate about Devi and he likes her so much like he just can't keep his eye his eyes let's say his eye of her had me blushing so it was very very good it was worth every diamond. We also know now that Ratha is pregnant from Raj with Indriya, who is Amala's grandmother. Oh, and by the way, the little boy is going to be Indriya's future husband. So yeah, Ratha is pregnant. She's the future heiress and she's also unmarried. Not looking good. But I guess Raj and Vijaya quickly found a solution because later on she's gonna marry Devi's uncle. I feel so sorry for this girl, like she had been through it. Poor Rata. A lot of people are speculating that because of the affair, Rata won't rule and Raj won't rule either. But I don't believe that because if they are not the head of the family, Indriya and Vima wouldn't be the head of the family as well. So I think they will rule. They will marry Ratha off very, very quick. And Raja and Amrita will have more children to 
secured marriage. That's my prediction. Raj is very an unlikable character for me. He's very caught to Amrita as well. I mean, obviously he doesn't love her, but like she deserves better and also Ratha deserves better. I also think that Raj will be a very bad father um, because how Devdas and Bima turned out, they were very abusive towards their kids. Like Devdas was very abusive towards Amrit and obviously Vima was very abusive towards Rishi as well. So I think there is a possible reason that Raj was also an abusive father. Amrita on the other hand, I feel so sorry for her as well. She seems very devastated and honestly it's so humiliating knowing that because there are indications that she knows knowing that your husband is having an affair right under your nose. She also looks very unhappy and looks like this engagement is taking a toll on her. But we got a spoiler from the author and she said that Amrita is more calculating and more smarter than she looks. So I feel like we will see more of that in the future. And obviously there is a reason why Amrit was named after Amrita. So what do my soybeans think about this update? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in my next one. Bye!